Ne bakayım açayım mı? Today, um, the topic that I wanted to speak on is uh, the role of culture in development. Uh, already, I have seen many people have spoken about the relationship between culture and development. So I'm not going to go through this list in any more detail again. So uh, it will be a summary that I'll be giving to you all here. Um, Chairman, now Agbajaga and all protocol observed here. We cannot overemphasize the importance of the theme for this year's Vijaya Festival. Promoting cultural heritage for peace, unity and development. So in the light of the above, my aim was to uh, discuss with you what we perceive as culture. What do we understand by development? And how can we use our culture to make sure that development opportunities are enhanced? So when we talk about culture, culture is a complex whole that includes morals, behavior, religion, and any other capabilities acquired by a man as a member of society. So when you are in the society, how you operate, how you do things, really becomes part of your culture. And I understand that member of parliament as well as the NDP candidates, they all made a reference to that kind of definition by someone had it. Now, um, whether it is wedding, a festival, or whatever that you are doing, when you embrace your culture, it can bring you a lot of evidence. We, the people of Jama, are truly proud of our rich cultural heritage. We are typically farmers, hunters, and recently fishermen and women. Due to our humility, we continue to welcome and accept people and organizations to our land and encourage them to do what is expected to uphold this wonderful, rich, and beautiful cultural heritage. This means the persons of values that meet community needs and values and the promotion of social goods beyond the interest of organizations. So when we talk about development, development is regarded as any activity geared towards the enhancement of our living standards. So for example, I'm from Jama, I'm a proud Jama dad. And therefore, I also want to make sure that whatever I do, I do in my best way to promote my wonderful and inspiring town. For example, with me, in order to bring about development, apart from all other things, I'm happy that the uh, NPP uh, uh, candidate uh, indicated that he was going to help to bring electricity to the riverside there. Let's stop again. That's wonderful. In my own small way, I have already started bringing electricity from where my house is to Tachikinamun. And m maybe if you come there in the night, you'll see that there's light all over. And that's going to be good. So I have just spoken to the NDP uh, candidate and he said, I'm going to collaborate with him so that we will really make sure that 
Tama will have electricity and that will be wonderful. So let's hope that it all works, but it's in progress at the moment. And of course, Honorable MP, I just spoke to him and he is going to help in so many other things. So we are really to make sure that Tama is growing, we need development and it must come. So uh, I will not want to waste any further time. That, um, in conclusion, what I will be saying is that uh, that contributes to the development of our needs and our values. I will end my speech by asserting that whilst we are celebrating PDF today, we should also let people understand and see our culture. We should let them see it. So, how do we make our culture acceptable? How do we make our culture attractive? How do we make our culture sustainable? These are very, very important. And to do that, the panacea, the suggestion that I'm going to say here, which is a broader way of saying this, is that we need to coordinate, we need to connect, and we need to collaborate. And with so, we are going to achieve a lot for our wonderful Jama. Thank you all very much. In order to conclude, on my own behalf, and my, the behalf of my father, in the Jama House, Tempera family, we are donating 1,000 cities towards this program as well. And all who come in, we don't want to say things that we are not seeing. Seeing is believing, isn't it? So we are going to do more for our wonderful and our proud uh, uh, society. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Prof. Jam, Jam. Prof. Waka, Ola. Yam, Ola, Waka, Tune. Aha. Then, Utige, Ubisebla. The head light in Eva Tete Tibidomu. Aha. Atam, Ola, Ga. The head be bitila mo. Oyo, as Tika mo na. There we are. So um, I'm just uh, delighted to be here today to um, represent and speak on behalf of my father. Uh, now to look for the second. Um, to start with, you know, Nacho, uh, the Honorable District Chief Executive for Bole, Honorable Member of Parliament for Bole, Bamboy, Honorable Member of Parliamentary Candidate for Bole, Bamboy, Honorable Member of Parliament for Bole, Bamboy, Honorable Parliamentary Candidate for Bole, Bamboy, um, Chief Executive Officer and Staff of We Power Authority, Director, um, NEA, Distinguished guests, our the media, friends, other invited guests, present, all protocol duly reserved. It is my pleasure to welcome all of you once again to JAMA this day to join me and my people to celebrate our annual Yam Festival. I wish to take this opportunity to welcome you all to this gathering. First of all, I want to thank the Almighty God and the God of our land for giving us good rains, which enable us to have good harvest this year. To rain! The last time I had opportunity to do this was about 30 or 35 years ago. The theme for our celebration today is promoting our cultural values for sustainable peace, unity, and development. Now, Dr. Abajaga, the form, the chairman, as you can see, Jama is a fast-growing, inspiring town. This means we need to do more to ensure that strategic areas of development are vigorously promoted. As peaceful, as peaceful people of Jama, we have welcomed visitors 
and organizations into our midst. And we expect that they continue to cooperate with us to promote our culture and development. With respect to development, we are seeking assistance in some strategic areas such as health, education, and electricity. It is a paradox to say we have hydroelectricity power, yet we don't seem to have deserving electricity in German. <laughs> On health, this renovation, the stock protest group is leaking very badly. The center also needs beds, mattresses, and maternity delivery beds. It is our hope that the above mentioned needs will give the center a face When it comes to education, Dama Junior High School currently has no computers for ICT learning. Hence, they need to purchase a minimum of five computers to finish our computer laboratory. Natural man, may I take this opportunity again to make an appeal to the distinguished guests here at Samo for them to assist us to procure the above mentioned facilities, which need immediate attention. Your support in this regard will be very much appreciated. Once again, you are warmly welcome to this August occasion. I thank you all for your attention. May God bless you all. Enjoy the day. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen.